you can unmute at that point of time only and then you can ask that question to me don't wait till the end because this is an internship program in which we are interacting with each other so it's better that whenever you have a question at the same time only you will ask the question to me so tarik sir uh, will it be okay if i'm not uh, switching on my camera like this is the evening time so okay sir yeah okay yes so i will not be able to see the chat messages so it's better to unmute yourself and ask question i will be starting the basic introduction to cyber space and cyber security from today i have planned 10 lectures in which i have decided to uh, do some hands on also with you but all will be very basic one once you clear this particular if you want advance one we can work on that in which we will purely work on the attacks and the simulation of those things and also the penetra uh, penetration testing as well so in today's session i have taken the topic cyber space and cyber security because before starting the sessions on cyber security it is important to understand that why we are learning this subject why this subject is so important in today's scenario so that we are going to discuss in today's lecture i'm trying to keep everything as a basic level so that everybody on a same pace and then you gradually understand the things with me first we are starting with the cyber space i'm going to use a hindi and english mode both so that all will be comfortable in that so cyber space is what in which we have number of things which we can consider which are connected to each other let's say for example hum sabke paas we have mobiles we have our systems we have connectivity to the number of devices also we are connected with the things so the lines which you are seeing in this gift picture these lines are basically the communication channels in which data is flowing so right now whenever you are walking anywhere you are watching any video you are playing any game aap kya kar rahe hain you are generating data you are connected to a cyber space jis cyber space mein aap sirf digital devices ke sath connected hain and your digital identity will be visible to the everyone as in the physical space we know with your name you have your own identity but in the cyber space we have a identity as a digital identity and everything is connected with each other and these are the channels in which data is flowing data is in the format of packets right so this is about the cyber space and also if you want to see right now that if we are talking about a cyber space we are also connected with that cyber space right now we are using the cyber space for learning this program this whole one month internship program is on the virtual mode we are using this technology we are connected to internet so i want to show you that in the cyber space if you see these connections with these identities these identities are nothing but the digital identities which we use to identify ourselves right so, but we are not aware that is this identity belongs to this person or not because even our banks also if you talk about the bank accounts our bank accounts also know us with username and password and in that we have our mobile number so our bank also know us with the mobile number only so they don't know us as a individual but they know our mobile number our email id which is registered so that is our digital identity so how many people are right now connected what kind of activities we can say that are considered to be part of a cyber space that i will show you with one website i want you all to go through that website later of this session also jisse ki aap study kare ki kaun kaun si activities uske andar aap include kar rahe hain how many people are connected at any point of time so if you see this internet live stats.com you can open this particular website it will be opening just a second yes so any point of time you can check this website i am sharing this in the chat box also so that you all can go through with this where is the chat box yes 
you all can use this particular website to see that how many people are connected right now with us so you see that the number is increasing internet users in the world so right now these many internet users are there in the world these many total number of websites these many emails are sent today tweets sent today maybe many of you have contributed in these blog posts google searches everybody is doing google search every day all these things are part of the cyberspace so cyberspace ek physical space jaisa combined space nahi hai this is a space which is having no boundaries like you all are sitting at a remote place i am talking from a remote place but we are connected to the cyberspace so that's why we can talk to each other we can learn things with each other so this is the statistics any time you can go and you can check the statistics also i request you to check the live feeds of the attacks that we will be discussing in the next lecture that what is the attack scenario that we will see in the next lecture so we will come back to the presentation at any point of time you see that the presentation is not working or my audio is not coming to you please unmute yourself and let me know because i can't see the chat messages which you are sending so i hope till now the cyber space is clear to you whenever we are connected to the internet world from any devices we are generating the data and we are connected with the cyber world now these are the activities which i was talking about the searching the bookmarking of the things the schooling the research map videos all these things are coming under the part of internet and coming under the part of the cyber space activities even if you are sending a e card to someone you are doing a chat you are uh, surfing the social media so everything is coming under the part of the activities of the cyber world so you can recall anything you are using webcam you are clicking your photos you are saving your photos to the drives you are recording some videos you are uploading some videos you are watching news now everything is online even though we are now watching the tv tvs are also connected with the internet so everything is now connected with this cyber thing so now in this cyber thing when we cannot see each other like as you know that i am i am presenting right now you know my name you know that from where i belong my designation my true identity is revealed to you all but then how many people we know in the internet world are having the correct identities as their digital identity so we don't know with that and we have lot of people those who have malicious intention when they coming to the cyber world everybody is not coming to take the advantages of these opportunities or these technology things but they are coming with some other intentions so because of those activities we have to take certain actions to protect our photos to protect our videos to protect the things which we have as our private information so that is coming under the security area where we are going to learn about the things right so now the difference between the cyber space versus physical space so i thought that i'll be giving this slide uh, for the discussion with you all that as we have seen that in the cyber space we are not having any boundary right so there is no physical boundary for the cyber space but for the physical space we have a boundary the space is limited we have the limited resources but in the cyber space as the technology advancing we are not having the limited resources the resources are increasing technology is advancing so this is a dynamic nature of the things and this is the static nature of the things yes attacks happens in physical world also attack happens in the cyber space also so there are attack at both the places yes the forensics is there in the physical world same way the forensics is there in the cyber space also is there any law in the cyber space yes we have cyber law also in the cyber space as we have law in the physical space so most of the things are common as we have rules and regulation in the physical space do we have those things in the cyber space yes we also have certain rules and regulation to behave to act in the cyber space same way we have rule and regulation in the physical space also so all these things we are discussing in the coming sections coming lectures and we see that how things are happening how things are going on so this is the difference 
the challenges which we were discussing the cyber attacks which are happening the cyber crimes which are happening so we are going to discuss in detail the cyber attacks and cyber crime so if we talk about the cyber attacks uh, there are a lot of ways through which criminals or the uh, attackers hackers trying to access the data trying to access the accounts to steal the information now what is that information for which they are looking to your accounts that also we will see this information can be your personal data this information can be your medical history this information can be your academic qualification so it depends on the intention of the attacker that why that attacker is planning to steal your information maybe this can be a personal thing this can be a organizational thing also so what is the main challenges to prevent our systems to prevent our organization from the cyber attacks now the cyber crimes are also happening as we have discussed in the physical space jaise physical space mein aapko bar bar koi phone kar raha hai and you don't want to pick that phone because you don't want to talk to that person so you are directly saying ki bhai baat nahi karna hai but then also you are receiving a call in the physical space someone is stalking you the same thing can be happen in the cyber space also now in the cyber space someone can morph your photo someone can upload your photo without your consent even if somebody is using your mobile without your consent that is also considered in the cyber crime so what we need to understand is what kind of activities are coming under cyber crime so that for this i have taken a complete two lectures to understand the cyber crime and the consequences of that so that because most of the time i have seen that people are victim of cyber crime but they are not aware that it is a cyber crime so we need to understand that we need to also understand about the attack how attacks are happening what kind of attacks can be planned on the systems different layers are there that we will see the another challenge is shortage of skilled professional so because of this point only i think that tarik sir and uh, the team has decided to go for this online internship program in which they can train the professionals on three different verticals 3d printing cyber security and the artificial intelligence so these kind of skilled courses are required right now to prepare a skilled professionals then also lack of awareness about the cyber hygiene what is the meaning of that if i'm going to ask you that when you have patched your mobile operating system when you have patched your operating system of your device or when you have updated your antivirus i'm not sure that how many of you have did all these activities how many of you are changing the email id password frequently maybe once in 3 months so i'm not sure how many of you are doing these things so these are all coming under the cyber hygiene you have email id 1 you have email id 2 you have so many email ids but because it is difficult to store all the passwords because we say that we need to have a strong password and bahut sare email ids hain so it is very difficult to store multiple passwords so what people are doing because we want to do the comfortable scenario so for every email id we are using a same password now i want to ask you aapke ghar mein 6 member hain so are you all 6 members are using a same toothbrush i don't think so right everybody is having a separate toothbrush then why you are keeping a same password for all the email ids so such hygiene needs to be taken care and it is important to have a awareness to each and every individual for such cyber hygiene so because what is happening is if we as a individual make our habit to practice the cyber hygiene it will be easy for us to make our organization safe so this is important as we say that the people are important for the nation same way the people are responsible for the security of the organization in which we are associated with so these are the challenges in the cyber space now we will see a little bit introduction to the cyber security whenever you think that we are uh, discussing many topics you can stop me at that point of time only i can take your questions and then we will go ahead with the things so the first important thing is the cyber security refers to the techniques which are used to protect 
the integrity of the network. This is the first point. The programs data from attack, damage, and unauthorized access. These are the few things which I've mentioned over here. So cybersecurity refers to a set of techniques used to protect. These are few points. The first is integrity of the network. What is the integrity of the network means is you have a network. So set of rules which you are defining for the network that is integrated. There is no change in those things. The programs which you have designed, there is no change in the programs. The data which you are transferring from A to B, there is no change in that data. Nobody is breaching that data in between the lines. Also, there is no attack on the data. We have man in the middle attack also which is known as MIMP. So man in the middle attack is happening because the data which is traversing in the lines, the communication channel, there are a lot of softwares through which you can listen the data which is traveling. The network may have flow or that you can also check. Damage is there because other data use kar raha hai, let's say if someone is having access to my email ID. Okay? The first damage that person can do with my email ID is to delete all the mails which I have in my email. The second thing is can change the password of my email ID so that I will not be able to access that email. Third thing is can plan to send a weird email to all my contacts. So a lot of damage can be happen which can be a reputation in the social uh, media or in your social life. Also the unauthorized access let's say through you, this email ID is your organizational's email ID. So now with the help of your email ID and password, the person can access the organizational's confidential data also. So that also we need to take care that we need to have certain techniques through which we can prevent these things. So that is coming under the cyber security. Also cyber security can be treated as a practice for protecting your system protecting your network and your programs from any kind of digital attack. Also, we can say that, okay, I'll just remove this. It's, now I will go back to this line because it was difficult to read. This point we discussed, this point we discussed. Now we are coming to this point. Now this cyber security usually aimed at accessing, changing or destroying sensitive information attacks from which we want to make our systems safe so that nobody will be able to access or change or destroy any kind of sensitive information let's say there is some kind of medical history of a patient and that that disease is like someone is not want to share with the public right so few diseases we don't want to share with the public if someone is having access to this history of the patient, now that person can extort blackmail for extorting the money or kuch or favor ke liye usko blackmail kar sakta hai. So people can misuse the sensitive information of the other persons. So it is very, very important to understand that cyber security considers each and everything. Okay, it's and then implementing the effective cyber security major is also practically a challenge because we have more number of devices, more number of peoples and we have attackers. As we are training the people and we are advancing the technologies in same way, the attackers are also training themselves and advancing the techniques to attack the network. So what I I planned is today we are going to discuss still the introduction to cyber security. Then we are going ahead with the other things in the next lecture. If you have any question, you can ask me. We can take those questions. I think we can uh, pause at this point of time because from the next lecture, we are going to talk about these PPP model, which we are going to discuss. Then we will see the other points which I've included in this. Uh, so any question, anyone? Achha, aap logo samaj aa hai, sabko, sabhi participants ko, because this internship program is designed for you all. 
सो दैट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड दी पॉइंट अगर आपको कोई कंफ्यूजन है यू कैन आस्क योर क्वेश्चन If you think that speed is like uh, the lot of topics are discussed in one lecture, we can work on that. But because I have only ten lectures, so that's why I've divided my topics in such a way that I can cover much like related to security with you all. Okay, I think nobody is asking any question. Maybe they will ask in the next sessions. Yes. Thank you so much, Tariq sir. Thank you so much. Always ready for the students and faculty, those who want to learn in the security field. So thank you, Tariq sir, for organizing this thing, which is much needed. Thank you, sir. Yeah. 